everybody's having a fantastic time. It looks like summer's finally arrived, or at least for today anyway. <clears throat> so I've got a couple of things to do and then I'm going to take Willow for a really nice long walk along the beach. So today I'm making uh, fibre bread. I'm making this. On one video I did tell you about some uh, carb alternatives that I wanted to try. This is one of them. I can't bake, <laughs> so I hope it's easy. It seems to be fairly straightforward. I think it's just mix with water, leave it, put it in the oven, take it out and a presto. Um, and I'm also going to make uh, some uh, low carb ice cream, sugar free low carb ice cream. And I've got some peaches, so we might be having peaches and ice cream, fingers crossed, for after our tea. It's a nice treat. Okay, so this is saying preheat to 200, put bread mix in a bowl, add 300 ml of water, mix well, leave batter to rest five minutes to thicken, and then either do it as bread or bread rolls with damp hands, put on a baking tray, for, then it goes in for 60 minutes or 25 minutes for, for rolls. Um, I'm going to do bread because if it's not very nice, I can, I can try toasting it, <laughs> stick something on it. And the carbs on this are per slice, which is classed as a 40 gram slice, carbohydrates one gram. That's not bad. It looks nice. We'll say. Hmm? I need my scissors. Definitely got a lot of seeds in it. And the beer, 300 mils. I'm in the kitchen. I'm baking bread. <laughs> Alright, that seems a bit funny. Oh, that's very sloppy. All right, well, <laughs> let's leave it for five minutes. Uh, see how it turns out. Okay, let's see if it's Thicken, just down pounds, down pounds. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, actually, use my spoon and then shape it. It's a bit like um, stuffing mix. Dollop it on. Get out. Oh, it's heavy. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I don't know, push it together, I guess. Gonna be a very big loaf. I suppose it's not very faffy though. What do you think? You think that'll do it? Little loaf. <laughs> Just wash my hands. Oh, I didn't put the oven on. Uh -huh. washed my bowl. I've only got one bowl because I don't really bake. I think I've had this about 20 years. <laughs> that was the cooker telling me to get off. Right, so this I need a mixer so I'm going to have to move stations. Um, just add a pint of milk. I'm going to add some cream in just to make it a little bit creamier and cream's less carby anyway. So carbs, it does tell you once it's made up 
hair 100 grams with ice cream, uh, with milk, made ice cream with the milk, um, is eight grams per, eight grams of carbs per 100 grams of finished ice cream. So that does include the milk. So this is a bit of a faff this. I hope I do get quite a lot of ice cream out of it. And I've just remembered I've left my ice cream tub at the van, but I'll find something else. Um, so this one, we've got to gradually whip it at the same time for four minutes, place it in the freezer for an hour, then take it out, whip it for another four minutes at max speed. So first it's gradually and then it's max speed. Then place in the freezer for four to five hours. Oh, it might not be ready for tea time. Um, and or until it's frozen. Oh, well, I'd best get on with it. So I've got 400 ml of milk in there. Um, so three, three quarters of a pint. It's actually about 450. And I've got this extra thick double cream. I could just have peaches and cream, but uh, I want to want to give this ice cream a go. And it's the first warmest day that we've had this year today, so it'd be nice to have some ice cream after our tea, if it's frozen in time. So I better pull my socks up and get this done. Just going to make it up to a pint. Whoa. Bit more. That's it. <laughs> oh. Right, okay. What goes in first? That goes in first. A big waste of milk and ice um, and cream if it's not very nice. Smells like ice cream. So you're supposed to do this gradually. I'm going to react this for four minutes, so I'll be back. <laughs> well, that was a long four minutes. So being a Wally, yeah, I've left my tub, my ice, empty ice cream tub at the van, so I'm just going to have to make do with what I've got. Um, not to worry. I don't know how to do this. How do I get that in there? I made a right mess. Oh, well. Oh, I should be all right. Got quite a lot in there. So you can't fit this big bowl in the freezer. Um, so I'm gonna have to put these in the freezer for an hour like this, then take them out, put them back in the bowl, whip it for another four minutes. <laughs> Uh, I think it goes right when I'm in the kitchen, you know, it's just, it's just how I am. I was born for someone to cook for me. <laughs> right, I'm going to get them in the freezer. It looks okay. <laughs> it's got another half hour, but it looks okay. It looks like it's rising. My light bulb's gone in my oven, so I can't see properly, but it looks like it is actually rising a little bit. So I'm looking forward to this. It's getting a little bit warm in here. <laughs> I think I need some ice cream. Yum, yum. <laughs> it's out the oven. It's had an hour. It's not risen quite like what I thought it had. Um, It kind of looks like a brick. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it on 
put it onto the cooling rack. Don't know. Caught it a bit on that side, look. I'll have that bit, I like bent bits. Oh well, I'll let it cool and then we'll slice it. It's a, gosh, it's heavy. I mean, it's a very, for a loaf, it's a small loaf. I don't know how you would make rolls out of that. They'd be very tiny rolls. Maybe I've done something wrong. Well, it'll be in the taste. Moment of truth, people. Just get a knife. So Mike's gonna try a bit of it. I'm gonna do the non-bent end. <laughs> Just at the end. Oh, go. Oh. Okay, that's the inside. Do another little slice. Very heavy. It's a little bit moist, but still a bit warm to be fair. Well, it smells alright. We'll get the verdict in a minute. Second whipping job. <laughs> um, it's still very runny, but it has only been an hour. So another four minutes I've got to do this for. Actually, it's a lot thicker than it was. All done, back in the freezer. Four to five hours. So it's probably, it's not going to be ready for after our tea because it's quarter past two now um, and we normally have our tea at four o'clock we might be able to have it as a little supper thing before bed a little pudding treat before we go to bed <laughs> oh it'll have to be before seven o'clock that's when my window closes right the verdict's in um don't quite know what to say I haven't tried it yet. When Mike says it's it's nice enough, it means don't make it again. <laughs> so it's okay. He's eating it. I think if he, if it's put in front of him, he'll eat it. But um, it's not his most favourite bread that he's ever eaten. So I'm going to give it a little go. Hmm. It's very seedy, <laughs> and I know it's supposed to be, but um, it doesn't taste bad. It's not nasty. It's just not a replacement for bread. It's not something that you'd think, mm, I'll have a slice of that as toast. Might be better toasted actually, because it's still it's it's quite dense and damp I mean it had an hour it had the hour it was supposed to cook and I know I'm not a cook or a baker but it's okay jam packed with seeds I think it'd be better with something on it maybe some soft cheese or um, any cheese bit of brie, camembert, then it might be nice. Yeah, you could actually put some nice toppings on it. But there you have it, it worked. I've tried it. I just hope the ice cream does in time to show you. And that we're going to have a pudding as well. Peaches and ice cream. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> well, we have a peach and we have some ice cream. It's a little bit soft. Just a second. A little bit soft. 
but it's enough to be called ice cream. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, get off, get off, get off. Okay, not the prettiest of presentations, but I'm just going to try a little bit. Oh, it's definitely ice cream. That is definitely ice cream. It's lovely. Okay, that's a winner. Low carb ice cream, everybody. Perfect. Nice treat. Summer treat. Yum, yum. <laughs> Okay, that's it from me for now. Um, thank you for watching my videos. As always, please comment below if you like this, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Love ya. Bye. Mwah.